The Portsmouth Great Falls and Conway Railroad was formed in 1844, and by 1849 it had reached the city of Rochester, New Hampshire, a major division point. A few years later, in 1859, it arrived here to Union, New Hampshire, but due to financial issues, uh, the railroad continued no further, and this was the end of the line for several years. It wasn't until after the Civil War in 1865 that construction further north towards the White Mountains finally continued. And in 1870, the line was leased by the Eastern Railroad. Of course, in 1890, the Eastern Railroad itself was leased by the Boston and Maine, who operated this line as their Conway branch, and that's the name that it's still known as today. The original station here in Union, New Hampshire, was constructed about 1854, right before the railroad arrived. But this station, the later version, was constructed in 1911. This station served as a stop not only for local passengers and residents, but also for those out of city uh, to come and enjoy the natural beauty of this area and the many lakes and ponds here in Wakefield. On September 14, 1956, the agency here at the station was discontinued in a letter from the Boston and Maine, which outlined that the continued existence of the station was being sought, and if it couldn't be preserved, then a small shelter platform would be provided by the Boston and Maine. Thankfully, the building was not demolished. Passenger service here through Union on the Conway branch continued until 1961, and for many years the Union post office was located here as well. Today the train station, the freight depot, and blacksmith shop up on Chapel Street are owned and maintained by the Wakefield Heritage Commission and beautifully preserved. They have on permanent display here many railroad artifacts, photographs, as well as a few pieces of rolling stock. One of the best parts of this museum in the freight house is a beautiful period authentic 1909 HO scale layout which is modeled on Wakefield, New Hampshire during that period of the Boston and Maine's operations. The latest addition to the Heritage Park here in Union and probably the most impressive piece is an original Boston and Maine wooden water tower which is believed to be one of very few remaining from the Boston and Maine. Even though this is not original to Union, there never actually was a water tower or a water spout here. This actually came from a different part of the Boston and Maine system, the former Lakeshore route in Guilford, New Hampshire. The water tower was donated by the Lakeshore Park Club, dismantled and moved here in June 2016. Restoration began in August 2017 from the bottom up. Now the town of Wakefield, New Hampshire is actually made up of a group of smaller villages. Those are Sanbornville, which is the largest, then there's Wakefield Corner, there is East Wakefield, North Wakefield, and Union, which is where we are right now. The coming of the railroad made Sanbornville the largest and most important of the villages. It was a division point for the Eastern Railroad, and there was a large facility there right where the Wolfboro branch left the main line. Now, Wakefield is also home to a number of ponds and lakes that span the town. Few of them actually span the main border, including Great East Lake. And that made Wakefield an important place for ice production. Back in this period of time, there was no electric refrigeration. And so towns that had many ponds and lakes harvested that ice and then would ship it to larger places like Boston. Now Wakefield itself would actually see as many as 20 train cars a day heading out to market in these specially insulated box cars, which would carry this ice. Later on that, industry of course went away as refrigeration came in but that was one of the large reasons that Wakefield became an important spot on the Boston and Maine. Additionally there were as many as 25 trains that passed through here on these tracks every day. Things are a little bit quieter now of course uh, the Wakefield uh, shops up at Sanbornville burned down around 1911 and the division point was moved to Dover so the area did lose a little bit of its railroad importance but today these tracks here are still in regular use by the New Hampshire North Coast Railroad who hauls aggregate from Ossipee to Boston as well as propane, steel and some other traffic as well.